So Clara is laying out the warp line for our weaver. So exciting. Now I'm gonna fix the uh, this into a ball. The what? It's taking too much time. Oh yeah. To wrap it, so I'm gonna make a ball of yarn. So oh okay. I see a photo on the wall and it's hanging three pieces. It's a trip tip. Yeah. T Y C H. And so I want to do a diptych. I want to do original weaving here, and then I want to use the elements on the other side. Wow. So weave into it. Yeah, elements. cool. Would that be all right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's and gorgeous. I'm making, making some butterflies because that's yep. the easiest way to handle yarn and. Okay, so the butterflies, you start with the end like this coming through. And you wrap it around a figure eight. Just keep doing a figure eight back and forth, back and forth. And I will pretend like I'm going to end here. And then I hold it tight, pull it off. This is my free one, free line. And then I wrap around the center piece. I loop it around nice and neat. And then I put two fingers in, run it back through and pull it and cut that. And then, I'll cut it. Okay, and then it's ready to use. And so then I work with this, the butterfly weaving in and out. It's easy because you have to switch hands as you weave. Be really yep. nice. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then you loop it around. It's midsect, the abdomen. Abdomen, yeah, loop. Smooth so you don't overlap each other. Make it nice and neat. And then put your fingers, two or three fingers down, go around again, and then pull your yarn back through it. And that's what you cut. And it's, that holds it tight. So then you pull from this center piece. Ready to roll. Out here with Clara, who was a professional weaver, actually. she big hobby of hers and um this is a, a natural weaver that i saw i guess you could call it a garden weaver or a natural weaver or a nature weaver and we could actually put anything in there we could put plastic bags or whatever but i always kind of wanted it for kids and for anybody actually it's a great piece of art for the garden and that is one of our objectives is visual and performing arts and right now we actually have a performing art because clara is working it so Clara is setting in, I lost the word, warp. the warp. She's setting in the warp and the warp lines go vertical up and down. They're the foundation. And so she's kind of building the skeleton and I'm gonna just let her talk to you a little bit and tell you how much she knows about weaving or where she learned or what, you know, what's your story, Clara? In 1970, I was in Mexico for about six months and really had the, all the textiles just blew me away and I really wanted to know and and if I could learn it I really wanted to learn so I started asking people all around in Oaxaca Mexico and they told me to, to to go way far out and so about an hour from the city I found these Zapotec Indians that were weavers and they did amazing stuff and uh, they they welcomed me into their weaving the wife did the yarn she spun the yarn she dyed the yarn and it would be all laying out in the in the area of the yard and then the it would all be outside and then the looms would be set up. They were huge, about six, seven foot looms, wooden, rough hewn wood. It was just su such a picture of beauty and the colors everywhere. And so they began teaching me. They didn't speak Spanish. I spoke a little Spanish. They didn't speak Spanish, so it was so cool that we just communicated by doing which was quite wonderful. And uh, so they taught me, without teaching me what it was called, the warp, the foundation, the structural, and the looms we worked on were like so. They were huge looms, bigger than this, laid out. And you would sit on a bench type, a, a very rough bench, and they had pedals or treadles, we call them. And so this would be laid out, the warp would be laid out, and we would put the warp on, and then you go in and out, 
and we did tapestry weaving. In other words, the flat. It's all very hand done, but a, you have to you have to take the back threads and move them up. The front threads move back, so that's called the weaving or the weft. W e f t. And so the treadles or the pedals hook to these to the warp and they lift them for you so you don't have to do this hand work. But with tapestry, you can do it with a tiny little loom. You can make yourself just a frame and do the same exact thing. And you just lift front to back, front to back, and then run the threads through. As you can see, I started this one here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll come back pieces. and check I'm on doing you. two pieces that we will somehow unite together. Not sure. But we're going to incorporate some natural fibers and some different things from the garden. Awesome, I did thank you. Two. They're separated, but they are unified. Wow. Somehow, something is going to draw them together. Yeah, and we have like, you know, you can put natural things in here, or you can put plastic bags if you wanted to make mats for somebody. Or um, you can do a lot, or just art. That's the back but, side. Yeah. You want to get the front side. I mean, it should be without all these knots. Mm -hmm. That makes it difficult for beginners because they have to get past those. But David found me some of this green. I said, is there any other rope colors or anything? So that's the start of it. And yeah. I'm stretching this out to add into the other side. So awesome. Start the other warp here. What do you think? Oh, I love it. Butterflies are great. Oh, you got a bunch? Yep, you butterflied up, huh? Yeah, you can't work without them. And about how many yards do you put in your butterfly? Oh, I don't measure it. I just no. You just yeah. Not too many. You don't want it too bulky. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And it's tricky with these little knots. Yeah. It hangs up and then it becomes undone. Mm hmm But um, you use what you got. So Clara, what do you call? This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's just fun from the garden, you know. Just the different things that you can throw in here and I thought it'd be interesting when they dry and you can make different shapes, you know, you can change it up. But I thought, oh, let's do the curve. <laughs> and we're, let's be down here, <laughs> you know? But uh, yeah. It's awesome. It's fun. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And you can put anything, you know, any kind of, anything that you can put in there. Yeah, so these actually kind of cool. They started out as a piece pole. And then we were like, well, we need another piece pole because we needed more space. And then we just built this weaver that I saw from somewhere. I don't know. Stan built that for us, actually. Nice. But it's never been this gorgeous. Ever, ever, ever. And so neat and, like, organized. Thank you so much. Thank you.